Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, so today what we are going to do is we have an expert guest. Um, his name is Mark. He's work at Microsoft. Uh, we are going to look into Teams Premium. Um, I'll let Mark introduce himself. Hey Mark. Hey Susant. Um, yeah, g'day all. Uh, my name's Mark Dudok. Um, I'm a, a technical specialist here at Microsoft in Australia. I've uh, been at Microsoft for about uh, 13 years covering a, a range of different technologies. Um, uh, but I've kind of spent the last six or seven years of my career focused on Guide for Business, Teams, uh, and now a lot of um, uh, focusing on Copilot for Microsoft 365, which is really exciting. Awesome. So Mark, uh, so think of me as somebody who doesn't know about Teams Premium and you help me understand what is Teams Premium, what is its value, uh, what's its pricing, why would anybody look for Teams Premium over the Teams, things like that. Effectively, Teams Premium is is a... Um, additional set and set of capabilities above and beyond uh, the capabilities that exist in Teams Core. So when we think about, or when I think about Teams Premium, I'm thinking about um, features that exist in a couple of categories. Mm-hmm. Um, the first is intelligent productivity. Um, inside of this intelligent productivity kind of pillar, uh, we're talking about you know, really AI features. Um, things that you might have seen recently with Copilot, things like uh, Intelligent Recap. Uh, we've got um, a live caption translation, so we can translate um, captions from a spoken language into a caption language. So if I'm speaking mm-hmm. English and you want to have that caption translated into um, one of kind of 50 other languages, you can do that. It's kind of part of part of some of the AI capabilities that we've got now in Teams Premium. Um, we also have some advanced protection capabilities, um, things like being able to apply a, um, a sensitivity label, so purview information protection, uh, and we can get into that a little bit more deeply, uh, but being able to apply a sensitivity label and apply specific controls uh, based on that label. Um, and then we move into features that, that allow for kind of richer engagement. Um, we're talking things like customization for, for meeting backgrounds, um, lobby backgrounds. Um, we're talking the ability to host um, uh, virtual appointments and get kind of telemetry and really deep reporting into uh, what's happening uh, from a from a an appointment perspective. Um, and then there's some admin capabilities. Uh, we've got some real time meeting alerts that we can use to to alert. Uh, admins to, you know, perhaps the someone in the executive team ha- is having a bad meeting. Um, we can alert uh, uh, in real time that, that that's occurring and, and try and take some steps to improve it. Uh, and then we've also got some enterprise content delivery network capability or ECDN capability uh, that helps um, help us make efficient use of our bandwidth for, for large scale events. So at a very high level, that they're, they're kind of some of the key capabilities that exist in Teams Premium. Um, yep. There are more, uh, but um, yeah, that, that's kind of the, the high level. Is that all um, a single um, SKU feature or like it, do we have to add on multiple add-ons to get all these features? Yeah, good question. So uh, you obviously have your, your Teams base license. Um, yep. So that encompasses um, you know, the, the Teams core capability. Um, when we talk about licensing in Teams, we, we kind of think of it in a few different stages. We've got our, our Teams core, uh, we've got um, the additional Teams phone licensing uh, that is is an add-on. Um, so if you want to use Teams for, for calls, then we have our Teams meeting room licensing. So lighting up um, specific devices inside of meeting rooms to enable those, those rooms to join Teams meetings, and then we have uh, Teams Premium. Again, is a, is a separate SKU. Um, it's just called Teams Premium. Yep. Um, some of the features inside of Teams Premium can be licensed independently. Specifically, that's the Enterprise Content Delivery Network capability. So, to answer your question directly, yes, there's a single SKU, but often at uh, times uh, we can. It gets a little bit complicated when we're talking about Teams licensing, depending on what it is you're trying to do. Awesome. All right, so now it's up to you to take me through what are the features of Teams Premium and um, where I can find all this information. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm just going to start here really on the on the landing page for Teams Premium. Um, this is a place where 
uh, you can go to kind of just get a very high level view of, of um, what is Microsoft Teams Premium, um, how you can get it. Uh, you can activate uh, a trial here as well. Um, if you wanna kind of try out some of the features in advance of, of buying a, a, a license or, or a suite of licenses. Um, is it a tenant-based licensing or a per-user-based licensing? Oh, good question. Um, uh, and in fact, that's probably a good tab I'll bring up later in, in, the, in the discussion. But um, depending on the feature, uh, it can be licensed a little bit differently. So when we're talking about, um, uh, for example, the, the advanced virtual appointments capability uh, or some of the advanced meeting capabilities, um, typically just the meeting organizer that needs a license, uh, yep. but there are some features that will need um, tenant-wide licensing. So uh, let me just see if I can bring this up quickly. You can see here in, in this, um, this is our Teams Premium Licensing documentation. Yep. Uh, this lists kind of, <clears throat> again, at a very high level, some of the things that I talked about at the very beginning, uh, yep. where we've got some of these additional features. You know, this is what we consider core Teams licensing. And then when yep. we look at Teams Premium Licensing, here's kind of a list of additional capabilities that you get. Um, these tables go for a little while, but a little bit further down, here we have a really nice table that shows um, uh, which features are applied to organizers, attendees, users, or admins. So to answer your question, uh, we have some features that are applied at the organizer level, some yep. features that are applied at the end attendee or user level, and then um, features applied at the IT admin level. So if you want to get a view of, of maybe how many licenses your organization might require, this is the, the breakdown that will give you that. Okay, awesome. Um, so just jumping back quickly uh, to the, the introductory page for Teams Premium, here you can get a, a you know, we're going to talk through a lot of this today, but there's some really uh, useful short videos that give you a view of uh, what some of the features and capabilities are inside of Teams Premium. Um, again, you know, talking to the, the AI powered meetings or the, the more intelligent pillar that I mentioned at the top through to uh, deeper engagement and, and kind of personalized experiences with, with backgrounds and some of that meeting protection stuff that I talk through. Um, so this is a really good kind of reference point uh, to get started with, with Teams Premium. Hey Mark, quick question before you move into the next one. Um, if somebody has got co-pilot license for M365, does that mean they don't need to get Teams Premium license or does it complement each other? Let's talk through that a little bit m more when Further we start ahead. to talk about some of the, yeah, when we start to talk about some of the, the more intelligent features, you know, meeting okay. recap is, is one of the key capabilities inside of Teams Premium. Awesome. Um, and, and that also exists for Copilot. So I'll, I'll say that um, Copilot for Microsoft 365, that is. So um, I've got a, a bit of a slide that I can show you that, that talks to where you would need Teams Premium versus Copilot. So Okay. Like Nice and clear. We also have, uh, just get to the top here. Um, here is an, an overview for admins. So for all the IT admins out there, um, if you're looking at um, uh, starting an implementation for Teams Premium, um, this is kind of the go-to uh, place for um, Teams Premium, how to administer the features and capabilities. Um, typically see a, a little, uh, these features require Teams Premium um, up the top. But anywhere where you see, you know, Teams Premium is required for this capability. Um, that's a, a hint that you'll need a license um, okay. for that, that particular feature. 